cyclists, we always go on the track, uh, go to the ways, like lonely. Actually, I didn't put too much expectation from others in my brain because I like racing. I race for myself, not for others. I, yeah, I represent Hong Kong, but it's what behind my dream. Last year, I retired because I think, oh, I can explore more new things and then focus on my studying. Actually, um, I plan to retire in 2017 and then I didn't success <laughs> because I didn't want to stop at that time. But now I think it's the time for me to uh, leave the team. I think many people like uh, artists because they also so how special they are. I am a half artist and then <laughs> half writers and have many possibilities in my life. So I hope that people won't uh, put labels on me, only uh, think that I am a cyclist, but uh, I still try my best to put color on my life. <laughs> yeah. I'm Sarah Lee, that's why you should listen to me. All right, welcome Sarah Lee and thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. How is retirement life treating you so far? I hear you've been quite busy. Very excited to enter a new life of, um, and my second career, I think is, but uh, before that, I, I am now having a long holiday for a year and that maybe sometime I have work, but uh, I also uh, go traveling around the world. So I feel very, exciting to go everywhere that I haven't been explorer uh, before. Uh, maybe I have been there, but I haven't uh, go deeply into the city. So uh, now uh, I have the chance to, to uh, go traveling all the world. So tell me, why did you decide to call it quits in 2023? It's been about a year now, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I considered uh, of uh, quitting uh, the team for, I think, about three times. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time is after 2016, my coach passed away. Mm -hmm. And then the second time is 2017 that I really want to start my second career and then I study in writing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last time is uh, actually, fourth, fourth, fourth time, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the third time is uh, after uh, Olympics, and then I came back for around half year, and then I would like to go to Asian Games uh, for my last game, mm -hmm. but uh, Asian Game j delayed mm -hmm. for one, for a year, so I I just say okay, I stop here. Yeah. So, so what made you decide that? made you make that final call, this is it, definitely? What persuaded mm. you that this was it? I, I think uh, Asian Games de delay for one year uh, def definitely uh, affect my uh, feeling. Be because uh, Olympics already has already uh, deferred, and then I have to wait at that time is my peak of perform my peak performance mm -hmm. but i wait and then i lost my chance to get the gold medal mm -hmm. and then uh, for asian games i would like to go for go with my teammate and then uh, if, if it delayed one year for them is good but for me i think uh, like uh, it affect my study year, uh, my study uh, timetable, and also uh, my future plan. Mm -hmm. So I think I should stop there. This is what is it? Don't forget to cut. Cut the hair, right? Reading one book is very magical. I feel like. 即係唔係話唔係話我成功睇完一本書呢一個咁神奇啊，係好似入咗呢個世界，然後你過完呢個世界嘅生活咁。誒 
I have taken writing since uh, I was a child, and then I start to uh, studying in writing in 2017. Uh, uh, after that, I find that oh, I really feel interest in it. So I think uh, it's fun. You published your first book about your life as an athlete, and you yeah. came up with a really interesting concept. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a certain idea uh, about the scar on my body. So uh, my book is about the drop back and challenging and also the loss in my life. So each chapter describes a particular scar you suffered in an event, is that how it? Yeah. And how, and how does that help you tell your story about being an athlete? Uh, I separate it to different parts of the body, like my hands and then my leg and my heart, my face, mm -hmm. yeah, and the trunk. So um, not only about the scar, but about fear and lonelier, loneliness. And uh, one of the examples is my loss of my coach, mm -hmm. and then uh, I write it as a letter. So I give a let lay uh, oh there is my coach and then tell him how much I miss him and uh, that letter I wrote it uh, after he passed away for one year and then I feel like oh uh, I still crying every time when I read it and uh, very uh, honest uh, feeling for myself yeah. I think because as a cyclist we always. Uh, go on the track, uh, go to the ways, like lonely. Mm -hmm. But uh, at our back, there's, there are um, so many people, so many staff uh, that cheering for us. Mm -hmm. So uh, they are all supporting me to the highest level mm -hmm. of the world. So uh, when uh, I lost them or some, some of the staff, they quit uh, the job, uh, I think it affects me a lot, but I still have to keep myself in a really a stable uh, condition. Mm -hmm. And that feeling is very complicated. Yeah, so. <laughs> so by writing, you're able to kind of break it down and kind of. Yes, yeah. I think af uh, after I uh, express all my feeling, um, I. F I know more about myself mm -hmm. and also uh, I understand that something you can't change mm -hmm. but you accept it mm -hmm. and then since you accept it you will think that okay uh, it's gone then then you can go to another step of your uh, life yeah <laughs> 彩虹戰衣咧就係每一年嘅世界錦標賽，誒，無論咩項目都好啦，佢哋攞咗冠軍咧就可以擁有呢一件彩虹戰衣啦。其實彩虹戰衣對於我嚟講就唔係好重要嘅，但係咧佢係證明咗其實努力係真係可以達到。你嘅目標嘅，咁所以、呃、每一次比賽之後啦，即係其實唔係淨係呢件彩虹戰衣，即係所有嘅啊獎牌啊咁樣啦，我都會覺得、啊、原來我嘅努力係唔會白費嘅，咁就、呃、下一次又可以再努力咁樣。The long journey like almost t w years, t h o s e up and down to make me become a tough girl. And I didn't recognize that, oh, I, I really hard work on mm -hmm. it. That you're capable uh, of it. Yeah, now, now I, yeah, yeah, when I step back, I really think that that girl is not, was so tough and then so hard working. Mm -hmm. And now I become so lazy. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel like I'm lazy now, but mm -hmm. I still working very hard for mm -hmm. my work. So. Every time I remind myself, oh, you're tough uh, at that moment, so you have to uh, be tough. Every time if people say something, say some bad word, and then uh, like, uh, they might affect you, but you have to, have to be tough. Or physically or mentally, mm -hmm. you have to, to be tough. And then maybe people don't understand that, but I, 
enjoy it very much. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah, uh, as a girl, it's not really uh, normal, uh, but I think make, it make me more. It made me. It make me become a special uh, one. Yeah, yeah. So looking ahead, what can we expect to see from Sarah Lee then? What 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 do you think we should look out for? Mm. I still can see me in TV. <laughs> okay. Yeah, on, on TV, um, maybe a uh, lot like uh, athletes uh, wear jersey and on the bike, but maybe sitting on the chair and then talking about like a sports event or some like leisure events. I, I don't know. Would you consider training? Like mm. mentoring future cyclists? Is that? Yeah, I I am I'm I'm currently also a coach and mentor, mm -hmm. and uh, teaching others how to ride on the bike and also how to write their stories. Um, I think my story can inspiring them to uh, try to be brave and then uh, jump to some uh, like uh, unknown unknown area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, to explore uh, how their future uh, are, yeah. Absolutely. Th thank you so much for sharing your what you've been doing so far, and we look forward to seeing more of you out there. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs>